Every insult, every snipe, every bad headline has been worth it. Nick Clegg took centre stage at his party conference today to tell supporters that his party is turning Britain around and that the Lib Dem influence in government has been a positive force for good. He also claimed his party is not trying to prop up a two-party political system. He said we're here to bring it down. Our political editor, Gary Gibbon, has this report. We do a thing called frying pan lolly. <laughs> the conference sweeties agreed in coalition trade-offs were handed out yesterday. The Lib Dem leader announcing free school meals for five to seven-year-olds. Today, Nick Clegg wanted to sell coalition politics as a better way of running the country. So, let's just stop and think about where we are now. The country's economy growing stronger by the day. Stable successful coalition, something that seemed impossible, now accepted as the norm. And the Liberal Democrats proving that we can be trusted with the biggest responsibility of all, fixing the economy. Nick Clegg doesn't want the Tories to hoover up all the credit from any economic recovery. But he told his party he regularly stopped say, Conservatives pursuing no. other policies. Inheritance, tax cuts for millionaires, no. Bringing back O-levels and a two-tier education system, nope. Profit-making in state schools, nope. New childcare ratios, no. Firing workers at will without any reasons given, no, absolutely not. He said he'd go into coalition with Labour as well if it came to it, but not because he liked one party more than the other, but because neither Labour nor the Tories could be trusted to run things on their own. The Liberal Democrats, we're not just some subset of the Labour or Tory parties. We're no one's little brother. We have our own values and our own Liberal beliefs. <laughs> we're not trying to get back into government to sort of fold into one of the other parties. We want to be there to anchor them to the Liberal centre ground, right in the centre, bang in the middle. We're not here to prop up the two-party system. We're here to bring it down. Nick Clegg hopes he can tap into frustration with the two main parties to boost his dire ratings. He even rehearsed his lines for the TV election Labour, debates he hopes will be rerun next time round. Imagine the next round of leaders' debates. Everyone watching to see who agrees with whom this time. David Cameron, David Cameron will say to Ed Miliband, you're irresponsible, you're going to drive the economy to ruin. Ed Miliband will say to David Cameron, you can't be trusted to help everyone, your party only cares about the rich. And for once, I will agree with them both. <laughs> because... He said two-party politics had been a shouty, insular, petty, polarised failure for the country. Even as the strains of coalition showed on his deputy leader, Simon Hughes, Nick Clegg was imagining a country governed by coalitions forever. Every day we are showing that we can govern and govern well, that pluralism works. And if we can do this again, in government again, in 2015, we are a step closer to breaking the two-party mould for good. A couple of years ago, many predicted he'd have been toppled by now, a victim of his abysmal personal and party ratings. But Nick Clegg continues to think there is a silent army of potential supporters out there who prefer coalition to majority rule and might yet allow the Lib Dems back into government. Gary Gibbon, Channel 4 News, at the Lib Dem Conference in Glasgow.